Hi there everyone. Uh, today's mess is brought to you via HDPE. So let's see how it goes. Hey, what's all this then? Hello everyone and thank you for watching my video. And today we're cutting HDPE. That's 20 millimeter HDPE to be precise. That's about three quarters of an inch. So what is HDPE? High density polyethylene. Well, you're probably more familiar with it, with it in the white and natural color as a chopping board material. It is classed as an engineering material and it's extremely good for applications that require a low friction, such as bed runners on a bench saw cross slide, or maybe uh, the, the sliding platform on top of a, a router table. It's also extremely good for making molds from as parts don't stick to it that well. I'm going to say sorry about the blobs on the camera as i said this stuff gets everywhere and it looks a lot like a nest of flying ants if you cut it right obviously i'll put the camera a lot closer since i added a fixing point to put an old gopro on the cnc and i am getting better close-up shots of the cuts i do struggle with lighting where my cnc is to get these close-up shots with other cameras as usually i'm in the way causing more shadows and to be honest when i'm Cutting client parts, my mind isn't on the filming. And frustratingly, I've got several started but never finished video projects for this reason, as part way through a camera stopped or I didn't turn it back on after a bit change or a new setup. But I am preferring this close up style versus me chasing it with the camera. Uh, do let me know what you think in the comments. did make a couple of errors in the cam so a couple of parts took longer to cut than they should I was cutting air on a couple of steps and I did correct this on subsequent sheets now I use CamBam as my cam software I found it extremely versatile it works how I think I'm aware it's not as sexy as some of the GUI based models but there isn't anything they can do that I can't achieve in CamBam but I do know some of the GUI applications have better simulations and maybe I'd have spotted the air cutting had I been using one of those. But I'm used to working with CB now and it works great for me. In this particular project, it was mostly simple cutting anyway. Uh, standard operations, drill, pocket and profile cuts. So it didn't need anything uh, magical.
It's just a case of getting the feeds and speeds correct, but isn't that the case with every material you do? I hope you found this video useful and now hope you're considering other materials for projects. You know, there's tons of woodworkers out there but it's nice to see other products being cut on these uh, fantastic machines. And maybe you can think about using HDPE. And maybe this video has been some assistance in that decision. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care.